Now, let's have a little poke around in here. Another modisk. Excellent. Certainly have you. Wow, that uh, zombie hurt us pretty bad. Uh, nothing special. No, nothing special here at all, Chris. Nothing special whatsoever. Just a load of weird stuff. Right, this computer is used to open the electric locks. Will you turn it on? Yes. Ah, uh, look at that 4.3 monitor. Beautiful. And those old beige PC cases. I have a fondness for them. <coughs> right, so login is... Uh... John. Password is Ada. There we go. <gasps> We're a hacker. There we go. And enter password. Mole. Moly, 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 moly. I like the way he types like a granddad. <laughs> it's funny. Yes! So this is kind of interesting actually because we were only talking yesterday in the Discord about um, how this game was apparently supposed to be a first person game originally. First person sci-fi uh, horror with a similar plotline. And here we are. This makes a whole lot of sense. But apparently it didn't run very well on the PlayStation 1 or something. Uh, which is unfortunate. I mean, first person games were on the PlayStation 1. They just... Well, well, I don't know actually. I was going to say, some of them weren't too bad. I mean, Alien vs. Predator, for instance. Or Alien Trilogy, I should say. What a game that was. Now, I've got it in my head that these guys come back three times. Oh. But I guess we are going to see. I hate that, that little doorway there. You can't lock onto him. Very strange. Right, so we've got a modisk, but... We actually need to get the projection tape. <clears throat> so let's go in here and use the Modisk. And I have a feeling there is another Modisk up in the room we're about to go into. Right, let's use this one. There we go, code 2. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. Hmm. This place seems to be a morgue. Well, a makeshift morgue, I guess. It certainly doesn't look great, does it? <coughs> right, let's go get our tape projector thing. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And then we should almost be able to save Baza. Not Baza. What the hell are we talking about here? We should almost be able to save Jill. Um right. Uh I tell you what, green. Uh we should have a red here somewhere. Hmm. In fact, we picked up a red, didn't we? We'll have the slides. There we go. And we'll hold on to that. 
we shall hold on to that. Because we're going to take a couple of greens. Uh, green. Green. There we go. No point wasting a red. Although, if you have borderline unlimited quantities of something, is it really a waste? We're getting into some philosophical questions here. Okay. Let's go upstairs, use the thing, get the thing, and the other thing, and see the thing, and then when we've done that thing, we'll come back down and do the other thing. Are we all in agreement? We're all on the same page? Good. Because I can't remember the thing I just said. Something about things. I don't know. We'll make it up as we go along. Okay. So that... <coughs> That is not... That's like a label maker or something. It's not actually uh, uh, what we need. Okay. Ah, wait. No, that's a telephone. Remember telephones? Like physical ones that plug into walls? Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Physics? Not that. That's an NVIDIA thing, isn't it? Uh, Umbrella Inc. Bioweapon Materials. MA39 Cerberus. FI3 Neptune. MA121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Bioweapon Research Institute. R&D staff. That guy looks familiar. <gasps> no. No, it can't be. Nah. Right, anyway. There's a panel. Will we open it? We will. There's a switch. Will you push it? We will. And there's the final modisk. Excellent. Just when I was starting to get kind of, but not really concerned. I would say the uh, stress level was at 20%. I'm sure there's some shotgun shells in here, but also I think I'm thinking of uh, the remake. I think there's a, yeah, there's a file here. Security system, helicopter port. Executives and government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in the case of an accident. Passage to the helicopter. Nobody is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All others will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. Visual data room is within the control of special research division. Keith Arving, the room manager, is designated to have jurisdiction over room usage. Prison. Sanitation division controls the usage of the prison. Consultant researcher E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker. A. Wesker? Nah. You don't th Nah. Re maybe? I mean, think... Nah. Must be present if virus is used. Triple lock. Nobody is allowed to enter unless he presents all passcode documents. Passcode documents must be created on specialized output machines by the chief researcher of each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors may enter. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has received special instructions. Passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine but the chief researchers. Top secret. Regarding the progress of Tyrant, after the use of T-Virus, remaining document is unreadable. <gasps> Tyrant, eh? That was almost what I renamed my uh, channel to. Tyrant Gaming. But I'm pretty sure when I um, look into it, <clears throat> there's like 600,000 Tyrant channels. So, didn't seem like a good idea. Okay, now there should be loads of zombies in here. A magazine, and... something. Boom! 
his bleeding head came off too. Right, let's turn the lights on. Oop. I can see. Researcher's letter. Dear Ada. Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. Yeah, I know how that feels. I feel like I'm going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape. And make sure, uh, make all of this public through the media. If everything is in order, all of the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2, where the visual data room is located, you will need to access with our names first and then enter another password. I've written the code below. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll understand it easily. That says mole. Uh, and this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Yours, John. Not, uh, not very secure. John Ada. Not very secure codes at all. Now, I think there's like a hangar magazine in here. Used only recently. I guess not. Maybe it's in here. Yes. Will you take the clip? We will take the clip. We will also... <gasps> we shall also take the herb. Because waste not, want not, you know? There's no need leaving this stuff for the roaches, after all. And this looks like we can move it. Which will allow us to trigger the blue switch. Which, just for anybody that's interested, um, you see this picture over here. Not that I think I need to show any of you guys this, but there are, without a doubt, some people that haven't played this game. It's too dark to see anything. Wait a minute. It's been so long since I've done this, I've actually forgotten. <laughs> uh, I think if we turn this back on. There we go. I think if we examine this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So that's how we do that. <coughs> Again, Umbrella security is absolutely pathetic. But then I suppose, to be fair, that is one thing that the new series, Netflix series, got right. And we shall never mention that series again. Although, we probably will. Evening! Can we shoot the ones closer rather than the further away ones, please? Uh-oh. There we go. Closest first, Chris. Come on, you know this. Facts to General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Research Department. This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it's understood. Regarding the T-virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee abducted... Uh, conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the incident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T-virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T-virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, the many of the subjects from the experiments have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof that uh, of the success of our research. However, there are also a ver there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to obtain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. 
We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act on the situation as well. Fax has been filed. Mmm, the bloody stars members. Cardboard and posters. Nothing useful. I'm pretty sure. Excite, 1998. <coughs> Here's me thinking there was some stuff there. So this is the last modus code that we need. Passcode 1. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and you have not withheld your son, your only son. Obviously that makes a lot more sense if read um, in, you know, order. Nothing special. Most of them are fiction books. Fiction books? Who reads fiction books? Oh, right. Lots of people. Gotcha. Okay. So, let's get this going. You've entered the passcodes. Let's go save Jill. Or at least tell Jill everything's going to be okay. Um, let's head down here. Chris! Hey, there she is. Jill! Chris, Wesker, he is... I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. You're going to be fine, Jill. Maybe. Right, so we still got uh, 27 Magnum rounds. Good thing we've been using it sparingly. Oh, yeah. We didn't. We really didn't. We were blasting away with it as soon as we got the thing. And a good time was had by me, I can assure you. Kind of feels like we're using some sort of action replay cheat. Now, as you can see, we have cleared out the zombies. I've got a... V oh, I don't know if I still got it, actually. I had a very, very old guide for this game. It wasn't an official one or anything. I distinctly remember it saying there's no point in shooting the naked zombies. Don't know where these new zombies came from. Yeah, distinctly remember it saying that because... Um, uh, these guys continuously respawn. So anyway, Jill's not going to get vaporized. Uh... And we are going to go fight the tyrant, at least the first form, anyway. <coughs> I don't think we're going to need anything apart from... Do we need the battery here? We might need the battery here. Alright, let's go. I remember the first time we actually ever played this back in the day and we got to this point. I remember fighting this tyrant and nearly getting killed. There's no reaction. It has no power. There we go. There's a switch. There's no reaction. It has no power. <gasps> right. Well, let's go sort the power out in the power room. Okay. If I can remember where the power button is. Pretty sure it's right at the back. Uh, or was it here? Nope, there's nothing here. God damn it. Um... I think we've got to push the big terminal thing. And my god, this room is loud. It's absolutely deafening. Which makes sense. The power connection switch to the elevator. Power is off. Will you connect it? Yes. 
Power for the elevator. Yeah, there we go. Yay! I can't believe I forgot to do that. What a fool. I'm sure all of you are surprised. <gasps> Titan forgetting to do something? No! That would never happen. Wow, we're on an hour. Might cut this video up. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, obviously you're going to cut it up to two pieces, but it might be three, depending. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Oop. Chris! Hey! Look how angry he Rebecca, looks. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. <coughs> Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. <laughs> she could have just, you know, come with us to start off with. Uh, Would have probably been easy, but then... You know, I guess Resident Evil Zero didn't turn out too well. Well, uh, it was okay. It, mm, I don't know. I didn't really like the main bad guy. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? <laughs> and a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. So what Even was he wrong rid about? Of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus. A biological weapon. Polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my stars team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. I like the way he says that. You're wrong about that. <laughs> like, well, and then he contradicts himself straight away. So this? grisly. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Uh-oh. See the way his jaw's moving. Man, that was one creepy dude. Although, it doesn't look like his arteries are connected to his heart. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. Well, I don't think she will. What? Don't come this way! <coughs> no! 
Oh, that's so brutal. What a pathetic death. <laughs> Chris's face! It's funny as fuck. You can't kill me. Well, I mean, I guess it probably could. Oops. It probably could, Chris. <clears throat> right, there we go. Alright. Oh, I think that actually missed. You can't kill me! Okay, that is really not going very well with this magnum, is it? Missed a lot of shots there somehow. Okay. Anyway, let's go check Wesker. What a miserable death. I love it <coughs> when Chris is laughing at him. Stop it. Hey. It's like, oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, it's electronically locked, isn't it? There's a button here somewhere. Uh, I think it looks like the control device for this room. A door lock device. Unlock the door? Yes. Ah, uh, well, poor Rebecca, eh? Never mind. Wow! Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. <laughs> Hurry up! I want to get out of here. The ultimate failure. Yep, time to go. <coughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I guess this bulletproof vest is pretty strong. Yeah, don't worry about the broken ribs and, you know, all of that stuff. You're fine. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. <gasps> We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. I'll set off the tri a triggering system for the bomb. Uh, okay. Is that just like any triggering system? I like the way she didn't specifically mention that the triggering system. But I digress. Anyway, let's go grab up some supplies. Eh, and I'll be right back one second, guys. I would be, but my stream deck doesn't seem to be working very well at the moment. Right, let's go. So, let's get some gear. We've got the Magnum. Um, and we have... Uh, we've got 20 rounds for the Magnum. I might take the... Shotgun as well, maybe. And... Let's go for... Let's go for a couple of hills as well. I don't think we're going to need more than that. Saying that, <clears throat> um, we might not. Uh, five shotgun shells. Let's have a look. Maybe. There we go. Seven. Hmm. That should be enough. If not, we can always come back. It's not like we're going to screw up or anything, is it? Um. Now, do we have a pre-mixed herb? Yeah, we do. 
Right, let's save the game. Just because. Save the game. Ooh. I think we're going to have like lots of enemies and stuff to fight uh, along the way. I say lots of enemies. There's going to be a few. Now. There we go. Rebecca's on it. She's on it. Oh, right, yeah, all these guys come back now, don't they? Uh, that's where the other ones were hiding. <coughs> Definitely remember more of them now. Little bastards, I call them. Little bastards that are for nothing more than sucking my shotgun. All the way down to the base. Now, let's go get our friend. I think there's a herb in here as well. Memory serves correctly. Oh, the music. Jill, sorry for making you wait. <coughs> I knew I could trust you. Ah, Let's the go. music. There's no need to stay. <laughs> well, we we can't stay because uh, the bomb and all. I just just throwing that out there. Right. Well, I just want to have a look in here because I'm pretty sure there is a herb or something in here. No, there isn't. Apparently. Is there nothing we... Ah, nothing important around here. I mean, there's a relatively nice bed. Unfortunately, if you go to take a dump, you're on camera, which... Well, I mean, some people like that, I suppose, but... It's a little bit awkward. Come on, let's get out of here. Um, oh, I left your gun in a box, by the way. Sorry about that. Although, we are going to walk past that box in a minute. Let's get going. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, she's gone. I guess she's not going to wait for us. Typical. Save her, and then she pisses off into the distance and leaves us to die. Thanks, Jill. You're one of the good ones. Probably should have killed those guys thinking about it. Oh, we got zombies. Well, let's have some shotgun fun. Ah, oh, come on. No point leaving all this ammo to go up in flames, is there? Not sure where these zombies came from. Maybe Wesker Letterman. Hey, dude. Batter up, bitch. Boom. Now, hopefully... Hey, wait a minute! Jill just ran past all these enemies and left them here for us to deal with. Let's get going. Ah, oh, she's got her gun back. Okay, so let's swap that for... something. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And we might not need them, but we might need them. There we go. Okay. And we'll swap that back for a, a heal. Okay, let's go. Let's finally blow this joint. There's a ladder. Will you climb it? Yes. Yes, we will. Now, onwards to freedom. Okay. 
Let's go. This is Brad. I have a fuel shortage. Okay. This is the last try. If somebody's alive, please send a sign. He has a fuel shortage, eh? All right. <laughs> you got to love the translation in this game. It's fantastic. Okay, let's go. Boop. There is three minutes until explosion. Three minutes. I made it. I set off the triggering system to the bomb. We noticed. Great, Rebecca. Brad's up in the helicopter. Look at those monsters! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, get in contact with Brad right away. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we have three minutes. I'm just saying, it's not a lot of time. Look at those monsters. <laughs> well, they're gonna hand. They're gonna keep them at bay with their handguns. Chris looks like he's a man on a mission. Or a man on something. Drugs, maybe. Lots of green herbs. Right, give me that. Will you take the flare? Yes, we shall take the flare. Uh. Whoop. <laughs> it's a rather pathetic flare. Wow, Brad really was just round the corner, wasn't he? <coughs> really doesn't leave you a lot of time. Forgotten how much of your time got wasted. Guess who's back? Back again. Come on then. Let's do this thing, Mr. Tyrant. <laughs> By the way, Brad, if I could be having that Oh. Rocket launcher any time. Yeah, um, I will destroy the mon I will destroy the monsters. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. Eh, uh, well, sure. Five magnum rounds? Really? And this is gonna hurt. Now, this isn't actually a rocket launcher. Ooh, you kit. This is actually, um, uh, what do they call it? Like a long delivery flamethrower. Smile for the camera. Oh, look, his mouth is still jibbing out. Still biting, like, Arr. it's actually kind of cool. There we go. Are you absolutely serious right now? You son of a bitch. I guess I'm going to have to run back and... Okay. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's save it right here. <coughs> <coughs> and hopefully, everything's all good this time. Hopefully. It's actually taken me three times <laughs> to get back up to this point because uh, the last attempt, instead of saving it here, I loaded the game. That was annoying, but entirely my fault as well. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Oh. 
I wonder why. Well, if that isn't a extreme bitch. Right, I'm going to cut this recording off here, guys. Let me restart the PlayStation and the emulator and all that shit and see if that helps.